Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. If you take a look at your hand right now, you're looking at epithelial tissue. These tissues line cover and help organize your body. Epithelial tissues line cavities and cover surfaces of vessels and organs. They protect us from the outside world and make up the lining of your stomach and intestines and also help your kidneys filter blood and form glands and their many secretions. Epithelial tissues do not have blood vessels, but can soak up nutrients from blood vessels and connective tissues underneath. They are also very good at regeneration. In addition, they help protect us from sunlight and pathogens, and they're involved in the secretion of sweat, hormones, and even mucus. They're involved in the absorption in your stomach and in your lungs, and they also help you fill the world around you. Epithelial tissues can be divided into several different types and can be classified both by both their shape and their number. First, you have squeamish. Squeamish are like pancakes. Their width is greater than their height. You will find these in areas of exchange like your lungs and stomach. Next are cuboidal. These look like a cube because they have basically an equal width and a height. You can many times find these in your glands. And finally, columnar are tissues that are just like a column. Their height is greater than their width. You will find these in the digestive tract and the trachea. In addition, you will find them classified by arrangement. Simple epithelial are single layers of cells, and stratified epithelial are stacked up on one another. If you'd like to know more about epithelial tissues, this playlist will help. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.